It's Susan Johnson, and I have another crafty idea for you. It's summertime or just any time that you need to entertain yourself. It could be adults or children. I love a quick game of tic-tac-toe. It could keep going and going. You could keep tally of the winners and have tournaments. So just take a plain, I did just a plain sheet of paper. I made the board for a tic-tac-toe, kind of outlined it a little bit. You can decorate it however you want. And to make it really simple, I wanted to use a decoupage and these little clear glass stones. Found them at a Dollar Tree. And it is great because you could personalize them. So each, when you separate instead of X's and O's, you can make it whatever you want, which is what I'm doing. I've been playing around with it. I circled mine and then I'm making mine hearts. And you make enough for you and enough for your opponent. So in order to circle it, it's not difficult. I'm gonna put it down so you can see. Just kind of take your pencil, hold it, and outline the stone. So it doesn't matter what size it is. It's one size fits all. You can draw whatever you like in it. I have some markers. I'm just gonna mark it the colors I want, which because I did a little heart, I'm gonna do a pink and yellow. And I'm gonna show you how you can put it together. So color in however you choose. Don't want my markers to dry out. And it's okay if it's a little bit outside the lines because you're gonna have to cut it to fit the stone. And what I learned from doing this before was the stone is a little bit smaller than what you drew your circle. So it's okay to cut in a little bit inside the line as you're cutting out your circle. Now decoupage is very forgiving. Um, when you glue it on, it takes a few hours to dry. You wanna make sure it's dry good. So I'm going to have my little shape, so cute. And I just use parchment paper just so that I don't mess up my other surface under here with, with the decoupage glue. Um, put that to the side. I have an old paintbrush because I like to do painting. I just pick one of my older ones that's pretty beat up. Um, you can have just any kind of paint, arts and crafts paintbrush. I had already opened it, so I have it ready to go. I put a little bit on the back and when it dries, it'll dry clear. I know it looks a little filmy. And then I put the heart over and that's gonna allow it to stick some. Then I'm gonna take some more of the decoupage glue and put it around the edge. And when you do that, that kind of makes sure it adheres to the stone. And then I'll leave it like that, face up, so it can dry. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of my stones, put them together, and then you will see the completed board after it dries tomorrow. So once again, I'm gonna take my paper, go back to it. I still have this on my parchment because that's a glue. I'm gonna go ahead and color my hearts. And around it, I did yellow just to be fun. And you guys can, you and whoever's creating this can decide how many you need, how many X's and O's. So I haven't decided what the other one's gonna be yet. It will be a surprise for you when you see them tomorrow, but I will have them on my tic-tac-toe board when it's all dried and completed. So 
So how many do I have now? I have one, two, three, four, five. I think I need more than five for tic-tac-toe. All right, see you when it's finished, bye. Hi, I'm back. So, Susan Johnson, you know my name. Um, although I'm a children's author and a media specialist and I love books and technology, I also love crafting. So, I want to show you the finished product of my tic-tac-toe game. So just regular paper. I just picked a construction paper because it's a little more sturdy. You could do a start card stock. I just drew out my lines for the game. I use parchment paper over my table because I use my table for a multitude of things. The Mod Podge, I created my little pieces. So when I, in the first part of the video, I showed you my hearts and then I did stars with red. And no, they're not perfect. You look on the back, but when you look through the front of it, it looks much better. And these will be your tic-tac-toe pieces. So if you are playing someone, you can set up your things. Now I'm gonna make mine the winner because I love my hearts. And then the other person will be playing. And there you have it, your own tic-tac-toe game. You could keep playing it over and over. You're not wasting paper by redoing it if you uh, normally do it out. Um, you could definitely be creative in the designs for your stones. And once again, I found these stones at the Dollar Tree. It's a whole bag for a dollar. I have ones with bigger stones um, that I'm gonna use for something else, but this is perfect for the tic-tac-toe game. And you can make as many pieces as you need. I mean, maybe you're a good player and you might need a couple more pieces, but for this, it works. So I hope that you enjoy my little tic-tac-toe game. I hope it brings you tons of fun and competition because I'm all about that competition too. And have a great day. And remember to view, like, subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on all social media at shjstories.com, um, Instagram, Twitter. I'm everywhere as far as my books are concerned and my crafting. And of course, my new venture, Color Street. Take care. Bye.